All right, guys. Well, thanks for being here on Team Forever Strong's second Coach Basics call. It is June 19th. And you guys are doing awesome. Thanks so much for being here. Again, thanks for understanding last week um, with me not being able to run the call because of my husband's car accident. I was just saying to Caitlin before the call started, but everybody's okay. <laughs> and I'm here now to do this call for you guys. So you're doing awesome. Um, keep up participating in the group. Keep engaging in the posts. Keep reading everything and applying it to your business. Um, <clears throat> and really stick with getting those awesome results that you can share on social media. So today, what I'm gonna be going over, I'm gonna be going over the business activity tracker primarily, because if you really wanna see success in this business, then <clears throat> you have to have a way of tracking what you're doing. So you have to find out how to keep track of everybody that you're talking to, have a list of everything that you should be doing when you sit down to do your power hour, um, because if you don't track it, then there'll be no way for you to go back and look and see, where did I, kind of go wrong last month, you know, what do I need to improve on? It'd be like if you opened up your own restaurant, if you didn't keep inventory on, you know, how many people came in and had like a coffee every single day. You wouldn't know how many coffee cups to order. You wouldn't know how much coffee to order. So it's the same thing with this business too. So I'm going to go over the business activity tracker. Now I have, I have this one here and you can go onto the coach online office and they actually have a newer one. <clears throat> that was just released too, but it's the same kind of thing. But basically, um, this is how you build a six-figure income earning business <laughs> by doing all these things on this sheet every single day over a period of time. So when I first became a coach, and, and mine that I had when I first started was actually didn't look like this, but it had, again, all the same information on it. And I remember my coach in my training telling me, you know, print this thing out, keep it in front of you every single day when you're doing your work, and go through it and check it off. So I'm gonna go through each of the categories just so that you guys know exactly what each one means. And then when you sit down to do your power hour every single day, you should have this out in front of you. Um, you can either print out this sheet and like have it on your desk or on your counter, or you can staple it to the inside of your notebook, or you can just write the categories down in your notebook, however you wanna do it, whatever is gonna be easiest for you. Um, but these are the things that you need to be doing every single day. And if you can do these things every day, then <clears throat> it won't, you, you will build a business because these are the steps that build it. And I know it seems so crazy, ridiculous because it seems so simple and so easy, but it really is that simple. So I'm going to go over these things. And if you guys have questions as I go through it, just unmute yourself or comment in the chat box and I can answer as we go. So <clears throat> if you have yours out, you can look at it as we go. Otherwise, you can just kind of follow along. So it has all these different daily activities here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten activities that you're supposed to do every single day. And then it has the days of the week. So the first one is be proof the products work. So <clears throat> that one's really easy because it doesn't mean that you have to be at your health and fitness goal or where you want to be, your end result. It just means that you are, you're waking up every day, you're drinking your shake every single day, and you're pressing play every single day, um, and you're following a nutrition plan. So just look at your days, make sure that you're getting in your shake every day. And I know it seems so crazy, but some people don't like plan it out and they don't get it in. So you need to be thinking about when you want to be drinking your shake. So for me, I drink mine every single day. It's been for three years now for breakfast. So I have mine every single morning for breakfast because it's easy. The kids are running around crazy. I can just kind of whip it up really quickly and I can take it on the go with me whenever I'm running around. So decide when you're going to have yours um, and then just stick with it. Same thing with the workouts. Make sure that you are 100% committed to a workout program. Whether it's the 21 day fix, like when I first started, that's what I committed to, or Core to Forest, 21 day fix extreme, whatever it is, just talk to your coach, your upline coach, and make sure you're in the right one and that you're in a challenge group, you're participating, and you're following it to a T. Nothing is going to build your business faster than you getting awesome results now. That is what it takes, is getting awesome results that you can share and show people so that they can follow you along your journey. If you're just kind of half in and you're just kind of like, yeah, I don't really want to do it, 
it's going to be really hard for people to be inspired by you because you're going to be inconsistent and people want a coach who's going to be consistent and who's going to be reliable and someone who that they can trust. So be proof the products work. You're just going to put a check mark next to that. If you've had your shake, <clears throat> you've done your workout and you're following your nutrition plan. So that's easy. Sorry guys, I'm so dehydrated. Um, the second one on our daily activity list here is personal development. So this just means that you're going to either be reading right now either The Compound Effect or The Slight Edge. The Slight Edge is honestly my favorite book I've ever read. Um, out of all of the books I've read, this is my favorite one because it talks all about this business and just life in general and how this, how this business works, really. And it's all about these small little decisions that you choose to do every day that most people will choose not to do. You're going to choose to do them. And that's why you're going to be in a different place one year from now. And it's just an awesome book. So you're going to commit to picking one of those books. Don't dabble in all different ones. Pick one of those to start. And you should be doing that now just 10 minutes a day, I say. Um, and you can have it on Audible. Like I, I really don't have much time to like really sit down and read a book. So I spend a lot of my time doing my personal development when I'm in the car driving around. So whatever works for you, um, 10 minutes a day. You don't have to go crazy. Another good tip too <clears throat> with your um, personal development is as you're doing it, you will be able to be inspired by something that you read or hear that will give you a really good idea for a post on your wall. Because our job as coaches is to inspire and motivate other people every day. And a lot of time coaches don't know what the heck am I supposed to post about? Like, I don't want to be annoying or I don't want to bother people and all that stuff. But if you're doing your personal development every day, you can always find one line, like keep in your mind that you want to find one line or one key takeaway that you can then share on your wall. And that could be one post for the day. That's what I used to do. Um, and people really, people really liked that a lot. So that's just a quick tip right there. Okay. The next thing is staying connected. This is the next piece on your activity tracker. So once you do personal development, give it a check and then go down to staying connected. Staying connected just means <clears throat> that you're on, you're talking to your coach on a monthly basis, hopefully more than that. Um, you're checking into your coach online office. And when you log into your coach online office, it says like breaking news on the right hand side. You should be checking that a couple times a week because that's where all the really important news and highlights come up. Um, so you want to stay on top of the thing, on top of your you know business, so you can know what's going on. So you want to check that um, that you're listening to the National Wake Up Call, which is every Monday. And I can't catch it live, and most people can't on our team because they're working or they're with the kids. But you can always catch the replay. It's every Monday, um, and that you're checking into your team's Facebook pages. So for example, you know, if you're in Team Forever Strongs, I tell my coaches, just hop into the team page once a day, like pick a time that works for you, hop into it, spend two minutes just scrolling through the page, making sure that you didn't miss any important announcements that were made or posts that were made, um, that there wasn't like anything important that you need to be hearing or reading about, and then leave the page. So whatever groups you're in, you're going to want to do the same thing too. Um, like I have a lot of different groups that I have to check into every day, probably like, I don't know, 20 of them or something like that. So I just do the same thing. I have them all saved on my favorites on the left-hand side in Facebook when I log in. And then when it comes time for me to do that part during my um, power hour, I just go through each of the groups really quickly, see if I missed anything, and then I leave them. So you'll do the same thing too. You don't have to hang out in the group and check every notification every time your phone dings. You, you know, you're not going to miss anything. Just pick that one time that you're going to do it go in and then leave it. So that's super simple. So you're going to put a check mark next to that too. The next activity on here is social media and it says three posts per day. <clears throat> so we always recommend because the same people, like you might be thinking, Oh my gosh, like three posts a day. That is ridiculous. Like people are going to think I'm so like annoying. Or, I, these are the things I worried about when I first became a coach. Um, but honestly, the thing is, I, I didn't understand how Facebook worked when I first became a coach, first of all. Um, but you're posting at different times during the day, and you're posting different content, and not the same people are seeing your posts. Um, and especially, too, 
if you're adding new friends at least three to five every day, which you should be doing now, um, you're having new people who are watching you every day that aren't hearing these things that you're sharing. So you might, you're probably thinking in your head, this is what I thought. When I first became a coach, I was always thinking of the small circle of people that I knew, like my family and my close friends, like they're going to be so annoyed seeing all these things all the time. But you have to think much larger than that. And you have to think about the people who really need your help. And you're not going to be annoying because you're not going to be salesy. You're probably worried about being annoyed because you're thinking of that other person from like, you know, it works, who's constantly posting the wraps up on their walls <laughs> or adding you to groups or messaging you these random, crazy, spammy things. So you're thinking that's how it has to be. But our job as coaches on this team is to teach you how to just share your story and to just be inspiring. You know, we're not here to sell. We're here to teach you guys how to share so that people are drawn to you automatically. So think about like the coach, like your coach right now, right? I'm sure that he or she is not salesy. And I'm sure that you signed up with that coach because you found that person to be really inspiring and really motivating. That's what we're teaching you to do. How your coach is posting and sharing, that's what our ultimate goal is. And also too, when you look at where your coach is, um, we didn't all start there. You know, like you might see their posts and think, gosh, like their posts are unbelievable. I'll never be able to do that we didn't start like that. None of us did. And it's all through trial and error. And, you know, I posted a lot of like salesy things too. When I first became a coach, like, you know, going to the website and putting up these T25 things and, you know, all the things that we tell you guys not to do. So <laughs> trust me, we had to live and learn. And we're here to share with you guys where we kind of failed and fell flat on our face. So that way you guys don't do the same thing too. So we say three posts a day. Um, and we say one of them, let it be a personal post. And by that, I just mean share something about what's going on in your life right now, just like a normal post. You know, you go out to go for a walk with your dog, take a picture of it and talk about it, how you, the weather was so nice today. You go for, out for a walk with your kids. Maybe, you know, you had to go talk about your job if you have another job, um, your kids, your animals, um, you know, a birthday you had coming up, just anything about your life, right? Just anything. It just, no big deal. You don't have to overthink this. Whatever you're doing there in that day, snap a picture of it. Um, try to get outside and do it so the sun is shining, and that can be one post. The next post that you can make um, is your health and fitness post. So this one will be easy to do because you're in a program right now, and so you're pressing play every single day. So you can either um, take a picture of, you know, your food that you're that you just made, you know, a recipe that you did, a meal that you made. It could be a picture of your shake that you did, pour it into another glass so that people don't see the shakeology, and then also refer to it as your superfood shake so that people are kind of intrigued by what you're drinking. Um, what else can you do? A picture of like a workout move. You can talk about it. Like, don't just say, like, you kind of want to stay away from things like, just did my 21 day fix, you know, upper fix, like, check. You want to give a little bit more detail about, you know, where you're coming from and, how you had, you know, say like you didn't get any sleep last night because your kids were up all night long. You know, share that little bit of information information there about how your kids are up all night long. You really didn't want to, you know, press play, but it was only going to be 25 minutes and you could do it from home. And, you know, your kid was right over there. I put my baby in the bouncy seat <laughs> and I got it done. Um, and I'm leading by example and it was hard and I didn't want to do it, but now I feel better. Like that kind of thing. So that people can see that, you know, you're not this perfect unicorn. Um, and that you're like a normal person that's struggling just like everybody else, but you're making no excuses for it because it's important to you and it's a priority and, um, and you want to lead by example. And that's the kind of stuff that inspires other people because they're seeing you do it anyways. Like, that's always my thing. That's what I tell everybody. You know, when you don't feel like doing it, that's when you need it the most. Do it anyway. Just do it anyway. And even if you only get one like or no likes, People are reading it, guys, and you are inspiring people. And it takes some time for the ripple effect to happen. But trust me, people are watching you. They're being inspired by you. And in a couple of months, people are going to come around to you, and they're going to want to join you. So that's the second post. Um, and a motivational one is the third type of post that you can do. So I kind of try to space these out throughout the day. Um, your motivational one, a really good piece of advice is, like I said, number, number one, when you're done doing your personal development, 
take note of something that you want to share that could really inspire other people and turn it into a post. Talk about how you connected with it and share it. And that way people are seeing that you are working on personal self growth because you want to attract those types of people into your business who also want to improve some area of, of their life. So if you're talking about it regularly, that you're working on yourself, you're going to be more likely to attract somebody else onto your team who also wants to improve in their life too. Um, you could also go to Pinterest. I do this a lot. Just go to Pinterest and I just type in like inspiring quotes and I'll just go through them. And however I'm feeling that morning, I will find one that kind of connects to me and I'll turn it into like a little story. I kind of stay away from just posting up just like just the quote and doing nothing else. You want to try to personalize everything as much as possible. Um, and this takes some practice, you know, it just takes some practice getting used to posting on a regular basis. Um, but once you start to get into that routine of doing that, like get yourself into a little routine. And if you need to, there are also some um, automated post things that you can use. Like for example, some coaches use buffer. Uh, I can type it into the chat in case you guys don't have it. But there's one called um, Buffer. There's Hootsuite. I've done that before. Um, and then there's Postcron. That's the one I use all the time. But these are for like super busy people who they know they cannot get to their computer or to their phone to make a post. Um, they just can't do it. Like I have a lot of full-time working moms on the team. And what they do is they sit down the night before and they will plan out their posts for the next day. They'll plan out at least two of them and they can schedule it all up. You can actually select the time that you want it to go up. You can put the picture with it. You can write your content with it. And then you don't even have to worry about it. It will go up on its own tomorrow at eight o'clock if that's what you want. So it just takes the pressure off of you if you know you're going to be busy because the last thing you want to be doing is running around trying to concentrate on your kids or your other full-time job and thinking, shoot, I never made a post today. It's supposed to be part of my business. Like, how are people going to follow me? You definitely do want to be consistent with this posting because over time, like, that is how you get people to come to you is by being reliable. Again, think of the coach that you signed up with. Why did you sign up with that person? Is that girl or that guy, is he there or she there? Every day, no matter what, you know that you can count on that person, right? So you have to be that person for the people who are watching you too. It'd be like if you drove to work every single day and you went to this one Dunkin' Donuts and you went there, went there, went there. And then one morning you drove by and you saw that the sign was up and it said closed. And so you drove by and you're like, that's weird, it's closed, it's always open. So you went to the next one and then the next morning you drive by and it says closed again. So then you start saying, I'm just going to start going to this other one because I don't know what's going on with this Dunkin' Donuts. It's always closed. Right. But then you drive by it again the following morning and now all of a sudden it's open. And now you're like, what's going on with this Dunkin' Donuts? Like the other day, like it used to always be open. Then it was closed. Now it's open again. I, I don't even know. I can't be bothered fighting the traffic over there. I'm just going to keep going to this other one because I know it's open every day at 7.30 when I'm on my way to my teaching job, right? It, that is exactly what your business is like. Even though people aren't commenting or liking, they're watching to see if you're showing up every single day. And you'll even have people, guys, over time who will be like, wait a minute, you didn't make your post today. Is everything okay? People will actually start to say that because they'll start to look and wait for those posts that you're putting up because they look forward to them, okay? So even if you're super busy, like I, I like to keep it realistic, um, especially like even myself right now, I'm in the middle of moving. We're moving down to Florida this weekend and I haven't been able to stay on track with my three posts a day. But I always tell my coaches, listen, no matter what, show up at least once a day. Like when you're going through those really tough times or things are super crazy, at least show up once. Like never let a day go by where you don't show up. All right. So that makes sense, guys. Okay. Let's see here. All right. The next piece down here on our activity list is new contacts. So this is just adding three to five new people to your friends list every single day. So you want to start doing this today because this prevents you from running out of your warm market. So you never have to worry and think, oh my gosh, I don't have anybody else to talk to. I'm running out of people. It's impossible. <laughs> I started this business and I had 
just about 300 friends on Facebook. And I hardly, I hardly ever used it, to be honest. And when I first started this business, I did a couple of things to grow my network to my friend list to now almost like 3,300 people. What I did was I would go to like a friend I went to high school with, for example, and I would go through their friends list. And anytime that I saw that we had like eight or more mutual friends in common, I would just, I would hover over eight mutual friends and I would just kind of look at the people they were, make sure that there was no beach body coach that I knew of. So for example, if I hovered over somebody's and I saw that like, I don't know, Courtney was a mutual friend, I wouldn't bother adding that person because that's like her territory, right? But if I didn't see anybody who I knew was a beach body coach, you know, I would add them as a friend. And I would do that every day, five new people, five new people. Um, I also would join groups on Facebook. This is a good idea for you guys to do too, of things that I really like to do. Because you want to start to meet people who you have things in common with. So at the time, I was, you know, my daughter was four months old, so I was nursing her. So I would join like nursing mom groups, stay at home mom groups. Um, I ran the Boston Marathon. So I ran, I was in like, you know, a Boston Marathon group. I was in a running group. Um, a teacher group because I used to be a teacher. All the things that I liked to do and had done, I joined these groups. And I would just pop in there occasionally. I would participate. If somebody asked a question, I would comment. Um, a lot of times I would force myself to think of a question to ask so that people would see my name show up on there and we could start conversations below the question. Um, and by doing that over time, I could friend request people from there that we were like conversing with and they would friend request me too. And it wouldn't be weird because people would be like, Oh yeah, she's in the, the group I'm in. She's in the nursing mom group. Um, and you get to meet people that way. And it's, you don't add them and then spam them and message them right away. <laughs> you, <coughs> excuse me, you add them because you want more eyes on you. And this is all about building more relationships. So you'll add them. They'll start to watch you. You can get to know them over time, start to like their things, comment on their things. You might even send them a quick message about something that you saw them post. Um, like, you know, oh, I love that post you made the other day. It was so funny. Hope you have a good day. You know, just something simple like that. And then over time, you're building this relationship and they will either, number one, either come to you and be like, hey, what are these workouts you're sharing all the time? Like, I'd love to be a part of it. Or you know, they might say, or you might go to them, same thing. But now you've started to build this relationship and you have more eyes on you. And that's what you want. So you want to make sure that you don't skip that step and you want to do that every single day. Because even at three years in for me, guys, it's an, I never worry about running out of people to talk to. It is literally impossible. When people tell me that they're running out of people to talk to, it makes no sense to me. Because as long as you're doing this every day and adding three new people, and spending time getting to know people along the way, and you're being authentic, it just happens naturally. All right. So the next piece down on our business activity tracker is um, inviting people to join your challenge group or your support and accountability group. So a lot of you guys, because you're new, probably don't have your own up and running. So you can either use your upline coaches. They have them running all the time. Um, I have one running all the time. And what you want to do is you're going to specifically invite three to five people every day. So this has to be like an explicit invite. And I know I shared my invite with you guys in the coach basics before, but you want to make sure that you do that every single day. Um, you know, and if you need me to share it with you again, reach out to me personally. I'll share it with you. I'll help you guys get through a conversation with someone, but you want to explicitly invite them with a start date. So you want to have a start date for your challenge group um, and give them a deadline of when to sign up. <clears throat> so you don't, you want to stay away from wishy-washy things like, Hey, you know, I'm running this challenge group with our team starting on the 19th of June. Let me know if you're interested. You won't hear back from them. If you say that you have to be more explicit, like, Hey, like, listen, I just wanted to reach out. I have this awesome group kicking off, you know, in a week from today. It's 21 days. It's going to be a ton of fun. Um, I'm looking for five people who want to do it with me. Would you like me to reserve you a spot? Like ask them a question so that they have to answer you. You're more likely to hear back from people that way if you say that. Um, so those are just a couple of tips. 
The next piece down here is inviting <clears throat> people to learn about the business, right? So again, three to five people every single day. So now this is, you're going to find a lot of really awesome coaches to join your team from your challenge group. So if you're signing up people right now, or as you sign up people right now, the most important job that you can do is stick with them and really work with them so that they get awesome results and that they love their shake and that they have a recipe that they love and that they've chosen the right workout for themselves and you know that it's working for them. So you never wanna just sign somebody up, <clears throat> plug them into a challenge group and then leave them high and dry and expect the challenge group to run its course. You're their coach, so you wanna be checking in with them regularly letting them know that you're there for them. Do they have any you know, questions? Are they struggling with anything? Do they have any tip? Do they need any tips about certain things? And if you can help somebody really fall in love with the programs and the products and get awesome results, those people most of the time are gonna want to become an active coach on your team. Those are where some of my best coaches, guys, over the past three years, some of my best best, most rock star coaches have been coaches on the team where the programs and the products have changed their life and they love them. Like with 150%, they love them, they stand by them, they believe in them, and they can't go a day without them. And those are the most loyal people where you never have to worry about them ever going anywhere because they love it so much and they know that it works. So that's your job is to get yourself there then help your people get there as well too. So inviting people to learn about the business, um, like I was saying, if you sign people up to be in your challenge groups, letting them know, like for example, when your coach is gonna be running a sneak peek, like I know um, myself and Courtney and Lauren and a couple other guys are running a five day coach sneak peek that started today. So this is a good opportunity for you to check in with your people and just let them know, hey, listen, like our team has this five-day coach sneak peek. It just started today. Do you want me to plug you into it? You can be a fly on the wall, learn about what we do. It's a ton of fun. Do you want me to add you to it? Just ask them. That's it. Um, literally no strings attached for them, but it's important that you let people know about this. Um, there's also people and coaches run webinars. So a lot of times I'll run like an online live 45-minute webinar that you can invite people to. But you want to be talking about the business and building your team um, over time. That's how you really, really change a lot of lives and grow this business big is by, by building your own team. And I know it might sound scary now, but <laughs> you want to eventually be doing what I'm doing now. Like You want to be having your own team with your own team name and your own coach basics and running your own team calls. And that's your ultimate goal over time. All right. But you have to talk about it and let people know about the business um, side of it as well. Okay. The next piece on our uh, business activity tracker is following up with customers and with your team. All this means, guys, is that you're getting back to messages that people are sending you. So if people are sending you emails, make sure you get back to them within 24 hours. If people are sending you um, messages on Facebook, Instagram, within 24 hours, just make sure you go through, you write back to all those people, um, and you do what you have to do, text messages, whatever is working for you, whatever way you have messages coming in, you just wanna make sure that you're responding back to them um, in, a timely, in a timely manner. All right, the next piece here, and the last piece is just connecting with your team. All this means, guys, is that you're engaged in the team page. So you're in there, or you're in Coach Basics, you're commenting, you're liking, you're in the team page, you're participating. Um, you know, be the leader before anybody else is. A lot of times, especially in these Coach Basics groups, you don't see anybody participating. And it's kind of like, is anybody doing this? <laughs> because everybody's waiting for the first person to comment on it. You just be the first person. Like, step up and be the leader. Don't wait for anybody else. Like, you comment on it and share your piece of advice and your opinion. That's how you grow. And that's how you grow big in this business. So get involved in your team page. Um, get on your weekly team calls. These are key, guys. Um, I know a lot of times people can't make it on because, 
you know, then you have to catch the recording because you have sports with your kids and things like that. And I totally get that. But if you can make it on live, nothing compares to being on live versus being, you know, listening to a recording. You're way more motivated and you get way more out of it when you're on the call live with the rest of the team. So go on those weekly team calls, <clears throat> continue to show up on the coach basics calls like this every single week. Um, and just check into your challenge group. Just be in there so that you're not a ghost. <laughs> All right. So these are the key things, guys. And I know this sounds really ridiculous, <laughs> but if like, seriously, if you look at this sheet that I had here, this Coach Basics um, business activity tracker here, I mean, this is how I built this business into a six-figure income business in a year. Literally just by doing these things on this sheet every single day. I was religious about it. And I will never say that this, that this business, I mean, this business is not hard. It's a very simple business. What's hard is being self-disciplined enough to show up every day and to just do these things. But if you can just put it on your goal board and just even write yourself a note saying, I am going to show up for my business every single day for an entire year. Like really think long-term with this guys. Your life is going to be totally different in one year from now, just like it was for myself and for our family. And it's just these simple little things of never missing a day of these things. And these don't take a lot of time, guys. Like these are quick things. You know, you can actually even do these in under one hour a day. All right. But I do recommend that you work your business for an hour a day. That's the bare minimum. Obviously, I worked more than an hour a day <laughs> to, to build this so fast in one year. But this is what did it. It was this here. It was no, um, no videos. It was no, you know, fancy schmancy, you know, picture collages. It was no live videos. We didn't even have that back then. It was just me doing this thing every night down here. That's it. That's really it. And I just chose to be the person to not quit on myself and on the dreams that I had for my family. And you can do that too. Like anybody can do that. And the good thing is, is that every day is a brand new day. So even if you felt like you couldn't do it before, you can always pick back up tonight or tomorrow and give it all you have. So before I leave you with the quote of the night, do you guys have any questions about anything that I went over at all? I don't have a question about what, like that stuff that you went over, that stuff was awesome. Oh, good. Like, is I have some people that are inquiring and I feel like I don't know where to send them yet. Like I'm so new at this that they're asking questions and I know what I do because Courtney told me where to go, but I don't know how to tell them where to go. And I feel like there's so many different sites. There's like, you know, the Beachbody On Demand and the mm -hmm. Team Beach Body four one one and I, like I'm yeah <laughs> and awesome with helping me but I don't know if you have a simple trick yeah. of how to sort all that out. Oh yeah, I do. I actually I, I really keep mine as simple as possible and I never send um any of my people anywhere. Um, it's pretty simple and I can actually what I will do because it'll be easier for you guys. I will send it out. It's basically a three step message that I send them. Um, and I will share the whole template in the group with you guys and I'll tag you in it too, to make it. Okay. Um, but basically what I do is it starts out with my first message is that invite. Um, and I always end it and I'll, I'll share with you by basically, always end it, would you be interested in hearing more about it? Um, and then if they say yes, oh, that sounds great. I'd love to hear more about it. Then I send them this next bit of information. Um, I keep, again, wicked simple. And then um, I always end that one with like, does that sound like something you'd like to be a part of? And they're like, yeah, how much is it? And then I end it with the price and what it includes. And it's literally that three-step process. Like I don't ever send them anywhere um, or anything like that. But you'll see in my message, I found that the more simple, because I used to do that. I used to send them like the Shakeology video and like, I don't know, all these things. And it was just too much and it was just too overwhelming. And what I learned over, you know, experience was that if I just keep it really simple and short and give a little piece of information about what it's done for me, people like that way more um, and it helps them way more. So I will share that with you guys. It's a really simple three-step process and I think it'll help you out. <laughs> no, that's awesome. So then when you give prices, like for instance, my sister 
is getting ready to sign up for the all access challenge pack, but her husband wants to sign up too, but it really, they're in the same house. Like they're not both going to sign up for an all access. Challenge. Right. That's just stupid. So he's struggling with what to sign up for. And I'm like, I don't even know where to direct you. Yeah. Because I, well, is she looking to build a business or is she just looking to get healthier? Right now, she just had a baby in May. So okay. right now, I would say she's just looking to probably get back into the swing of things. Yeah. Um, is okay. it possible that she may build a business? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I would do for her is, so I would just have her do, I would have her sign up for the all access pass herself as a coach. So um, that's how I, I enroll everybody as a coach because it just, it saves them money going forward. It's kind of like everybody wins. Like yeah. they save money going forward. Um, I, I do it in hopes that they're going to love it so much. They become an active coach later. And it also builds, uh, grows your, your um, organization. So that's how you move up in rank is when people sign up as coaches underneath you. Okay. Uh, customers don't count towards like rank, like moving up as Emerald, Ruby, Diamond. So what I would do is I would sign her up for the All Access Challenge Pack as a coach. And then what she can do is once she signs up, she can actually log into her account and she can buy her husband a bag of Shakeology um, for 25% off and it'll only be $97 for her. Okay. That's what I would do for now. And then going forward, if she decides she wants to become an active coach, then we can talk about signing him up and getting him in the system. But that would be the cheapest thing, cheapest way okay. for her to do that. I just, I always feel like I'm deceiving people and I'm not a you're never trying to, but I feel like I don't know it well enough. So I sound like I'm being deceitful. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I know. We all, we all were there too. And I'm telling you, like the more that you do this, the more you talk to people like this, it's going to be like riding a bike. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. It is. All right. Good. <clears throat> you're doing awesome. Thank you. Okay, You're welcome. Okay. So how do I, let me read this question. <clears throat> what do you do after a challenge starts? Sorry guys. I'm like so congested. <laughs> What do you do after a challenge starts? How do you invite them in? Okay. So what I usually do is whenever I'm talking to people, like I have a challenge that always starts, like it starts the same day and then it's an ongoing challenge group now. Um, I didn't used to do this before, um, but I just found through experience and just from trying different things for me, what works better is if I just have like one ongoing um, challenge that people are in. Do you know what I mean? So we share things in that. But what I do is when I'm talking to people, I always say that my challenge starts the following Monday. So it kind of gives them like a week. I give them, a, I always give them a date. So when I'm talking to people now, um, I'll tell people that my challenge will either start, let me look at the calendar here. Um, <clears throat> so when I'm talking to people now, just because my week is going to be kind of crazy with moving. And I'll actually probably tell people that my next challenge is going to be starting on July, July 3rd is <clears throat> probably what I'll say to people. Um, or I might say just July 5th, just because they get through the four people. I know they like to <laughs> do their thing. So what I'll do is I'll talk to the people and I'll start to message them and I'll just simply just send them my, my invite message that I usually say, like I keep track of everybody who likes my pictures who likes my post, and I work off of that list of people. So I'll be sending them messages, and I'll just say like, hey, thanks so much for, you know, I can share this message with you guys too. You know, thanks so much for always supporting my journey. I really appreciate it. Like, your support means so much. You know, please keep it up. And I'll do like hearts and smiley faces. And then I'll say, were you looking for more information about our next challenge that's going to be kicking off on June 19th? You know, I'm looking for five more people. It's a ton of fun. It's only 21 days and you get awesome results. Like, would you like to hear more about it? That's basically my invite. I kind of say what it's done for me. Say I have a certain amount of spots and I say when it's going to start up. And they're watching me post on my stories every day um, on the Instagram stories or Facebook stories. And they're watching me show up in some way. Um, on social media and they're seeing the results happen slowly over time. So a lot of times people will say, yeah, that, that sounds awesome. Like I need to get healthier for the summer. Like it's already here now. And that's how, that's how I invite them to it. And once the challenge starts, if people decide they want to come in and it's already started, I let them know, Hey, listen, like this group of people already started this past Monday. Um, I'm going to add you in or 
If you want to start in a brand new group that's kicking off the following Monday, what I do is I'll post in the team page. Like this is a good idea for you guys. Um, you can always post in the team page and say, Hey, listen, I have two people who need to go into a 21 day challenge group. Does anybody have one starting next Monday or whatever that I could add my people to? And I used to do that all the time because there's always coaches in the group in the team page, like team forever strong who are starting up new challenges and they are more than happy to add you and add your people to it. Um, so that's what I do if people decide they want to hop in once my challenge already started. Um, but like I said, mine is kind of like an ongoing thing. Now I do do like monthly prizes that, you know, based on their participation from start of the month to end of the month. Um, did that answer your question? Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. Is it true if someone has become a beauty contract consultant, she cannot be a discount coach? <clears throat> um, no, it's fine as long as she's not looking to, you just can't be running two businesses, like earning an income from two different businesses. That's the only thing. But if someone's in just for the discount, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Hope that helped. I know they've had to make a lot of changes recently because of that. <laughs> All right. Any other questions, guys? Nope. All right. I'm going to read you my quote and I'll let you guys go for the, for the night, but you must make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. And I just love that one because I just feel like every day we're faced with all these different things, but if you can just choose to go in the right direction and choose to do, I'm telling you, the Slight Edge guys, read that book. If you can choose to do what most people aren't willing to do, your life will be different. It will be different in one year from now if you keep showing up with this because this is your own business. And when people say the sky is the limit, and I know it sounds corny, <laughs> it really is. It really is. It's not just with Beachbody, but with any business. If you go all in and you believe in it, and you don't stop, the sky is the limit with it. And I know you guys can do it, and you guys are amazing. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks for putting up with my raspy and uh, stuffed up nose <laughs> sounding voice. I hope you guys have an awesome night, and I will see you the next time. I'll get those messages put up in the group tonight. All right, guys, see you later. Bye, everyone.